morning family and happy Saturday it is super early in the morning literally let me um turn my brightness down so you can see 7 25 in the morning and yes I am up I've been up since 6 I'm gonna say 6 30 um, I've already taken Kelly out for her morning walk for her to use the bathroom I fed her I'm sitting here um, as always drinking my coffee and my cup that Mr. Taylor bought me and I have a lot of stuff to do this morning while he's still asleep I actually put a cold um, load of clothes to be washed and um, guys I am doing a self-reflection I feel like I have um, lost sight of my goals and uh, some things that I want to achieve um, health wise uh, work wise I've lost track of some things so I want to I'm going to do a reset but you guys know that I am a planner so I need to write everything down I need to look at it I need to see it so that's what I am going to do this morning try to get my life back in order um, but I also have to do some work I just got a, another corporate contract and I need to do some prelim work on it before our first meeting next week and I have a another corporate event that I'm working on and I need to reach out to one of the members because she was supposed to then giving me some information and I need to check on that but I'm also planning my younger brother's wedding now and I need to send him and his fiance some information on some venues so that we can start doing some um, tours. So I want to kind of knock out all of my emails and get all of that stuff done before Mr. Taylor wakes up probably like in another hour because you know then I will be I will cook him some breakfast. We'll probably get our day started. So it's one reason why I like to get up super early is to kind of have some me time and do some business stuff and it won't interfere in our day-to-day um, -day activities. The other thing that I need to do, I'm going to try to squeeze it in. I don't know if I'll be able to do it before Mr. Taylor wake up. Is I need to clean both bathrooms here and get my workspace a little uh, cleaned up. But I definitely need to clean the bathrooms. So my goal is to try to get that done today. If not, I'll definitely do it first thing tomorrow morning. But um, I want to meal prep. <coughs> Well, not meal prep. Well, I will be meal prepping, but I need to write down what it is that I will be eating next week so I can make me a grocery list. So I need to do that as well as put together a um, daily schedule because I want to try some new routines and um, figure all of that out. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. Just take some time to reflect on me and... Um, then get some work done sit here as you can see kelly she likes to look out the window especially first thing in the morning she is a sunbather, so anytime the sun is out she wants to be in that area so um sometimes she get up high right here and just sit in my lap and just stir out the window sometimes she'll lay down on the floor and just stir out the window out the um what is it patio door so every morning when I come in, come downstairs, I open up the um, the blinds for her because that's one of her favorite things to do. So yeah, she's probably going to sit right here on my lap um, as always because you know the baby can't be anywhere that I'm not. And yes, I'm talking about you. You don't have to turn around and look at me. Uh, she can't be anywhere that I'm not. So um, she'll probably sit right here and look out the window while I'm, while I'm working. Um, let me stop rambling. I'm gonna finish drinking my coffee. I have no idea if I will eat breakfast today. I'm not super hungry. Yeah, so I'll talk to you guys shortly, probably like in the next hour, once I um, get my business done, because that's the most important thing is to get the business aspect of my work done. Um, Cause those are paying clients. So we need to get that stuff taken care of cause they pay for it. Um, so yeah, so let me do that and um, I'll be back guys. Hey guys, so <clears throat> I am almost finished my um, prep, but look at her. She just got up because I got the camera, but she was asleep right here because she, she feel like I'm her bed. 
Um, so just like a baby, you know how your babies fall asleep in your arms. That's how she do. It is finally, it's an hour later, it is 8.30. I, I'm gonna show you guys my um, meal plan and uh, where I'm at, I'm actually about to create the grocery list now. Um, hey, say hey baby girl. Come on baby. Mommy baby was sleep the whole time I was working, as I told you she would be. Let me put her in her bed um, real quick and um, then I'll show you guys what I plan to eat this week. Okay, so on top of that, I will be doing intermittent fasting, so I won't start eating until 11 o'clock. I put my schedule here. Um, the only thing I have not filled in on my weekly calendar is snacks and I'll work on that as I go but so for breakfast um, on my days that I'm going into the office because I will be leaving out the house super early um, to go into the gym I am just going to do two boiled eggs and two turkey sausage hold on the baby wants to get back up here in my lap come on come on jump there you go good girl so on the days that i will be working from home i'm going to do one keto waffle with some almond butter and a protein shake and i have that going all the way down um until sunday i will do some bacon so for lunch it was hard for me to figure out what i want to do for lunch i am going to do a protein shrimp taco and i didn't put protein on here but it will be a protein taco um, Monday through Friday. I left Saturday and Sunday open because usually um, Sunday, I don't know. I'll figure it out because that's the day I usually go to the market. So it may be something different. Um, I may do sushi or something. I usually, when I go to the market, I get sushi for lunch. But um, Saturday, I may be out and about. So I will just eat something um, seafood. And so for dinner, this week coming in. I am doing two different meals. I want to do a stuffed salmon with uh, shrimp and lobster with broccoli. And then I'm going to do whiting with cauliflower rice and asparagus. And I got that down um, until Friday. Um, Saturday, again, usually I am out and about, so I have that open. And then um, Sunday, I will probably do the same thing unless I, per you know, buy something from the market and will be different so um, right now I'm just about to put my uh, market list together so I can know what I need to pick up when I go to the market tomorrow morning and figure out what I want to do for snacks for the week so that's where I'm at guys once I go to the market um, I'll probably take you guys along the shopping process and um, show you guys what I get so let me create my market list and um, then I'll go and wake Mr. Taylor up. As you can see right now, let me see if I can zoom in. It is 8.42 in the morning. As I told you guys, I'm, it's an hour later. So I'm about to wake Mr. Taylor up and find out if he want me to fix him some breakfast or if he wants to go out and um, get him something and uh, we can kind of get started with our day. So I'll be back. Hey guys, so we're back. I am dressed. I look like I got a huge forehead with this hair pulled up. Um, but I just wanted to show you my little cute little outfit today um, to run errands. I told you guys I was running errands. Um, I'm about to put my tennis shoes on. I wanted to wear these uh, Amex. I don't know if you can see. They're kind of like lavender and white. So I wanted to wear these because I purchased them last year and um, I've only worn them one time. I was trying to figure out what I was going to wear with it. Well, it's football season so I said I would wear one of my old jerseys. Um, my favorite quarterback was Brett Favre. And when he left Green Bay and went to the Vikings, Mr. Taylor purchased me this jersey because purple was my favorite color. And he felt like it was only fitting for me to get a purple jersey with my favorite quarterback on it. And plus his number was four, which is my, um, my number. So I got on my 
Number four jersey. Say, my boy on the back. You can see. And um, I just got on some blue shorts. And because I got the gold outline, I got a gold tank top underneath of it. And I'm wearing my white and purple tennis shoes. Because it's just running errands, so I'm not getting dressy. Um, we may stop and get something to eat. I'm not hungry this morning for breakfast. I had one pancake with some almond butter and um, some bacon. And I am full, but just in case, I feel like I need to go change my um, Apple Watch band. So let me go do that and put a purple Apple Watch band on because I got this blue one. Because yesterday I wore navy to work. Okay, let me run upstairs and change my Apple Watch band. Is Tonka having a um, cookout? Y'all, we are in the damn parking lot. And um, I got to run in Target. I got to get my um, almond flour tortillas that I eat. And of course, everybody always talk about how you always getting smart. Y'all didn't see him, but he over here rolling his eyes. Anytime I say something about eating healthy or getting something healthy, he rolling his eyes. But he talking about are they having a cookout somewhere because he smell grilled food. Like hamburgers. Nonetheless, um, we're trying to figure out. <laughs> Mr. Taylor wants to do a quick getaway weekend trip. And we're trying to figure out where we should go just for a quick weekend trip. So give us some ideas guys down in the comments drop down and give us some ideas um i'm gonna start looking around and see if we can get some free hotel rooms first and foremost but we about to run into this target we can go to my hometown we definitely not we're not going to his hometown not in the middle of this heat so my feet can be burning again it's not that hot out there. It's that hot out there. No, I do not, not like to go to California in the summertime. No, it's not. We can go in the fall. We can go in the winter, but not in the hot summer. No, thank you. It's I will than pass. This terrible heat back here. No, not and when it's a hundred degrees at freaking seven o'clock in the morning. You exaggerate. It was a hundred and four degrees, and it was seven o'clock in the morning. As soon as the sun rose, it was a hundred and four degrees. I'm not doing it. Get out. Oh, he put me out the car, guys. So I've been greedy. I'm trying to um, fix this. Sun is bright out here. Um, I guess we're going to have to get something to eat for lunch because... Oh, okay. Well, that's good. If you ain't hungry, that means we saving some money. He want a chocolate milkshake. You don't think that's going the milk is gonna be um it's hot out here so it's gonna get thick. I don't care about that. Mm. Where you gonna get a milkshake from? I don't know. Cold stone. Oh, we can go to Cold Stone. That's all right, I changed my mind. <laughs> I can't stand him, y'all. I think he get a kick out of it. His his he thinks that his um purpose in life is to torture you. Yes, to torture me. That's what he think his purpose in life is. But I guess that's what you, what happens when you marry to your best friend. Right? That's what Scorpios do. We torture people. Uh, he said that's what Scorpios do. So, we I don't know if you have um, tax-free where you're located. But here in Maryland, we have a tax-free for back to school. And Target is packed as I don't know what because everybody is shopping for their children for back to school. So I am gonna put this down because my goal is to only get one thing and it's so crowded that um, I don't wanna be walking around with this camera out. So we heading into Taj and I'll talk to you guys later. That's the whole point. So guys, look Please who we ran into. That, I'm at work, <laughs> come on now. Look what we ran into inside the Tar J. You're not even allowed to wear that. You, you're not even allowed to wear I'm what? I mean, you're not even allowed to wear what? You can't record in the store. Maybe like one of the people that be on the store. So, um, can you um, 
you go can you fix me you working or you on break well, yeah i'm on working i'm just walking around doing me right can you now. fix me a, um he a said coffee? Doing me. what is the coffee i what mean coffee? fix me something good i don't know what is good i don't I know want, want something like a ice something with some caramel the ice something with some caramel yeah you want to surprise me i got i'm just getting um you know how i get my almond tortillas what my tortilla shells oh yeah <sighs> Don't blow your breath. You know I was three hours late to work today. Why was you three hours late to work? Because they changed my three. schedule. You the boy, you gonna you get fired. Nice. No, they changed my schedule. I just talked to the store director. That's where I just came from. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. I was like, because so when I seen schedule? it Thursday, it was supposed to come in three to close because it's only uh, one person closing the day. Ah. Hey guys, so we are back from Target. Um, as I told you, I definitely got in and got out. I was not getting a lot of stuff, but I wanted to show you guys, and I think I've showed you this before, but these are the um, tortilla shells that I like to use. They are grain-free almond flour. They are um, clean eating. They do not have a lot of ingredients. I'll show you on the back. So I hope you guys can see that. As you can see, it's not a lot of ingredients on them. So these are my favorite kind to use. And I'll be using these for my lunch um, next week. I'm doing the um, protein shrimp tacos. So I got these. They're a little pricey. You get eight and they almost ten dollars a pack for eight. So they're a little pricey. But I think everything as far as um eating healthy is pricey. I mean, it's just what it is. So I only picked up this and I got my um and I just got my I got one lobster tail from the market uh for my stuffed salmon for dinner um otherwise i you know i always make my walk-in on sunday so i just picked this up because it was on sale and it was right there but um i am about to eat me a lunch i got me a cold cut from subway and then i'm gonna take the baby out for a walk so i'm taking a bite from the walk i'm taking the baby out for a walk so she can enjoy some of this sun like you just enjoyed the sun while you was out today anything else smart you need to say <laughs> anyway talk to you guys <laughs> when we go outside hey guys so we're outside i am walking cali or she's walking me however you want to say it but just trying to get a little bit of um exercise and take out for her daily walk so she can enjoy the weather ah uh -uh, that is not our car oh she knew it. it's you i'm like wait a minute that's not our car <laughs> hey no she over here mama i did i did i have a pair of rain boots come on kelly we're going this way I have a pair of rain boots that I keep at the front door because, oh, sorry babe, come on, be careful. I usually keep them at the front door because I like to wear them when I'm walking her because majority of the time I'm walking in grass because she has to go to the restroom and things like that. So, you know, sometimes the grass can be high and I don't want it to be like on my legs and stuff like that. But I got on these white tennis shoes. I don't want to get no grass stains this is gonna be a quick walk a quick 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 walk so we usually walk around the whole town home community just to give her our exercise for the day and when I'm working from home I usually do this twice a day but um when I on my work days I usually just do it in the evening time when I come home but she always take her little breaks she, she likes to smell the grass.
smell that area figure out what other animals has been out and about so we can walk sometimes for about 15 to 20 minutes which is good exercise for her and me uh oh wait a minute she's doing her number one finish wait a minute what oh you caught up in the y'all come here wait a minute come here Kelly wait stop ah. come wait let me get your leg there we go good girl So she just got on her shirt to say Lazy Daisy. And we just gonna walk around. Come on, let's cross over the street because the car coming. Good girl. And enjoy this weather. It is 86 degrees outside, but it's um it's a little breeze every now and then. So yeah, the wind is blowing. But that's what we're doing. Hi right, guys, we back in the house. We did 20 minutes. As you can see the sheen on my forehead. As I told you guys, it is um let me get some brightness. It's 88 degrees um, outside. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Now let me um, wash my hands. It's hot, y'all. Even though it is a little breeze, it's still hot outside. Look at my baby. Yeah, she... The heat, she came in the house and stretched out. So, Kelly loves ice. Kelly, daddy didn't break these right. So, um, I usually give her little ice cubes. Oops. When she come back from walking, just to help cool her off a little bit. They her favorite. Oh, mommy, you need some water in your water bowl. So let me give her some water, give her some ice. I usually give her like 40s. They little teeny circles because you know she tiny so she can't eat I mean you know she don't need nothing really big put some water in her bowl I'll put an ice cube in there so it can be cold there you go and here's your last one come on mama Good girl. Alright, so um I'm about to go upstairs. Well, I need to put these dishes in the dishwasher. Well, it's only one dish, but I was letting it soak. There's the dish that I just a dish that I made the bacon in earlier. Um I need to put that in the dishwasher. And I wash clothes. So I need to go and put my clothes up and I think I want to curl this and I think I want to wear it with this ponytail next week. So I think I'm going to curl that and um, we'll figure it out when we get upstairs. Let me just put this in the dishwasher and then we'll go upstairs and we can figure some stuff out. Hey guys, so it is later on in the day. What? The wash machine is, I mean the dishwasher is done. Okay, I guess it is. So, um you guys know for my new health kick that i'm about to jump start 
um, one of the things that I'm giving up is alcohol for 30 days. So today I feel like um, it's going to be my last hurrah rah because I don't usually drink on Sundays because I just, you know, it's Sundays and it's, you know, you're supposed to be mild temperature on a Sunday, right? So um, today I feel like it's my last little hurrah rah um, so I am going to make me a cocktail out of here. So I have this um, sparkling ice and this one, let me see if it will focus, focus, yeah so it, it won't let me be great. This is a kiwi strawberry but when we was in DR. Mr. Taylor had picked up this right here. Focus, 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 focus. It's called Bear Hug and it's infused with mango. So I am going to crack, what is, oh, it's rum. Ooh, oh, I just realized it has real mangoes in it. Wow, it's been sitting over there for a whole week. I never paid that any mind. He don't even know I'm opening this. I hope it tastes good. I'm not a rum drinker. I don't drink rum. I'm a vodka girl. So, I'm a little afraid. Let me see, what's the proof on this? Yikes, y'all. This bad boy say 21% proof. Okay. So, we're gonna do a low, low cook. Nothing big. Got my ice cubes. Uh oh. So got some ice. One number one. Crack this bad boy. Ooh, it smells good. <laughs> it smells good. Smells good. How do you put the top on it? All right, got it. And when you use a little bit of this, I wish I had a Sprite because I feel like Sprite will set it off. But I don't have a Sprite because I don't drink soda. And it's been in here for, is this expired? Do these expire? This been in the refrigerator for a while because I don't drink. Wait a minute. Okay, no, I'm good. It says um, March 18, 20. 23 that's my um, baby's birthday All right, let's stir it up. Oh, this tastes good If you ever go to DR, make sure you get some of this. It tastes so good. Really good. Recommend. And I am not a rum person. So, me and Mr. Taylor is having a movie night. Um, I just got on my pink lounge clothes because we're just, you know, lounging around the house. So, I wanted to make me a cocktail. And we watching TV. I'm going to take him a beer. And 
yeah, you know, just chilling in the house on a Saturday night. Not planning on going anywhere. Um, the baby is looking at me like I'm crazy. Where's she at? She like, who you talking to? What you talking about and what you doing? You over here by the counter. Do you got food out? That's what she's saying. But, um, oh, I have some cucumbers. So we give her healthy snacks. So I give her cucumbers and um, carrots. So I um, pre-sliced like some small cucumbers for her for a snack. Hey, yeah, you can have some cucumbers. You can have a late night snack. Yeah. Mmm. So I try not to give her like them um like Dougie treats. We try to give her healthy snacks. Um. So yeah, I just wanted to check in. It is 7:30 at night. Um. I probably won't talk to you guys again tonight because as I stated, it's about to be some adult time with me and Mr. Taylor. So I'll probably pick you guys up in the morning when... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to take you out to the market. It's going to be so crowded in the market and I just want to get my stuff and get the heck out. But when I come home from the market tomorrow, I'll probably pick you guys up. Show you guys what I got from the market. I already showed you guys what I plan on fixing. And I'll take you guys along the way as I meal prep for the week. Because I have a lot of cooking to do. Um, so we'll do it that way. Um, so good night. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey fam. Welcome back to the channel. For everyone that's new here. My name is Tammy. And over here we try to live our best life have fun and stay cute while we're doing it so today if you saw by the title we are trying something different we're looking at some healthy food options because we're trying to get back on our fitness journey um, and we're going to be making some healthy versions of a protein taco and we're using shrimp but I am going to modify it a little bit, but I'm going to do my best to stick to the recipe. I will leave the link and the ingredients in the recipe down below, but let's just get into it and let's try to whip us up something really good so we can have for lunch next week. Stay tuned. The dish that we're making today is called a spicy shrimp taco with avocado cream sauce. And the ingredients that we're going to be using for our shrimp marinade is dark chili powder, paprika, we got to use some cumin, dried oregano, mixed garlic this calls for um, red pepper flakes but um, I can't make mine too spicy because my stomach can't tolerate a lot of heat and I am going to do heat in the avocado cream sauce so we need our pink Himalayan salt we need alum and we need avocado oil so we're going to mix these ingredients into um, our bowl so we can make our marinade okay so the first thing that we need and then we get my ingredients right here is one teaspoon of dark chili powder we need one teaspoon of paprika We need a half a teaspoon of cumin and oregano. So we need a half of cumin. And oregano. The seasons already smell good. 
Um, said a half a teaspoon of uh, kosher salt, but we're doing the pink Himalayan salt. And I am just going to um, ground it to my tasting. Okay, I think that's, I'll go a teeny bit more. One lime and three tablespoons of, um, teaspoons of the avocado oil. So I had the lime, I had to cut it, but let me go ahead and do my oil now. So I am going to cut the lime and squeeze it inside. Um, the mix and then I'll come back once I start mixing the marinade up. Alright, so we got our limes squeezed or in, in there. The last part to this is one tablespoon. Let me get my ingredients. One um, teaspoon of garlic mint. Um, seasonings is already smelling great um so we're gonna stir this up we're gonna set this here to the side we don't need these anymore so I already cleaned I deveined and cleaned my shrimp but these are long um, these are jumbo shrimp so what i want to do is just go ahead and cut them in half um because it's going to make it easier better for me so let me cut the shrimp <sighs> okay perfect so we got our shrimp and we're going to just go ahead and pour our marinade all over And we're going to toss shrimp and that marinade. Okay, so I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator and let it sit. And now we're going to make our avocado cream um, sauce to go on top because it's not going to take that long to cook the shrimp. So I'm just going to let this sit and marinate and putting it back in the refrigerator. So for the avocado cream sauce, I am going to use my Ninja. Um, Alright, let's get this together. One medium avocado. So let me cut this bad boy open. A half a cup of cilantro. So I am going to eyeball this. Oh, first and foremost, let me open it up. Oh, it smells so good. I'm just going to eyeball it. So one jalapeno. So this is what I was telling you about. Um, I didn't want to put heat in the on the shrimp because I knew it was going to be heat over here. So um, another lime.
So you need three tablespoons of garlic. That was two. And da uh, da da da. Oh, a half a cup of Greek yogurt. This equals up to a half a cup. And I just got the um, Chobani. You have to do three tablespoons of oil, uh, kosher salt. We're going to use our pink Himalayan. And three tablespoons of one. It's all my oil, guys. Three. And then three of water as well. And three waters. Okay, so I am going to mix this down. And um, let me clean up my work area and then I'll be back with the finish um, cream sauce and then we can move forward. Okay guys, so here go our avocado cream sauce. This, um, <sighs> I made this tight, too tight. Let me just see something. what it's looking like so I'm um, gonna just get all of this off the top into the container and then I am going to pull the um, shrimp out of the refrigerator so we can get those bad boys cooking And let's just give this a try because I've never made this or tried it. Oh, it definitely got some heat to it. I like it. And I can taste all the ingredients. Um, I add a little, I just, I can taste the cilantro real tough. If you're not a cilantro eater, don't put a lot. But I like the cream. It's really good. Where's my top? Okay, I'm just gonna put the top on this, put it in the refrigerator so it can chill. And um, pull the shrimp out. I wish I had a little bit more lime juice in here. Just a teeny bit more. Um, I think that would have made it pop. And I may go get another lime tomorrow and put some more lime in here. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so let me um let me let me get the shrimp. Let me get myself organized and then we'll come back and finish this dish off. So now that the shrimp is cooked down, I'm just going to go ahead and place it in a um, bowl for it to <clears throat> cool off. It smells so good. I feel like I want to put the... Um, Heat and marinade sauce back on there just so it can be drenched in the seasoning. So 
guys, this is the finished shrimp. And look at me. The tortilla shells that I use. Off on site. They're almond flour tortilla shells. And they only have almond flour, tropical flour, water, sea salt, and gatham, um, gatham gum. See the green is one of that. And this is, I'll, I'm going to do uh, probably two of these for lunch with the uh, shrimp and um, the sauce. I'll be back. I'll show you guys the finishing touch once I make my plates. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I hope you enjoyed this cook with me. Um, let me know if you try it and how you like it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.